Wanna healing challenge mode but you're ungeared and you don't know where to start? You're in the right place. What's up guys? GH here. In this video, I'm gonna be helping you guys heal up your healer. This video is for new players so we're gonna approach this in the most silver friendly way as possible. And with that said, here is our challenge mode healer equipment guide for new players. Let's do this. Okay, let's just say you just decided that you want to heal in challenge mode to easily get in a party. Where are you gonna start? Perfect. Of course, you're gonna select an armor. So what do you need? Leather, plate, or cloth? Leather is out of the question here so we're gonna choose between plate or cloth. Now both are good for challenge mode but it depends on the situation. Plate will protect you from basic attacks which is very common when mobbing in challenge mode. Plus plate is the go-to armor for PvP but it's not, this is not a PvP guide. Now for cloth, it will protect you from magic attack which is usually boss magic attacks. And it hurts, especially at stage 7. And in stage 7 bosses, it's where people drop most of the time. It's because of low magic defense. They get one shot. And don't worry about those because it ain't your fault. You can't protect anyone from getting one shot except if you have auto revive. There's also reflect there which instantly kills them. If they don't use attacks with iframe capability, you can't protect them from those. Fortunately, those kind of bosses don't appear that much. Another benefit of cloth is there are arts and attributes that increases the capability of the cloth set. For example, the cleric arts called cloth mastery healing. To put it simply, it increases your healing capability. Now, which is it? Plate or cloth? For me, it's cloth because it will make it easier to deal with bosses. And wearing cloth armor just make boss fighting easier. Of course, I know you're gonna ask, this is a challenge mode guide. There's a lot of mobs there that are gonna hit you. Don't worry about it because you're gonna wear a shield which is more than enough for challenge mode. Okay, now we choose cloth. So what cloth armor do we get? For now, July 2020, the only choice we have is the Skia Clip Varna cloth set and the Savvy Levga cloth set. If we go the Varna route, it's gonna be expensive and it might take a new player quite a while to get it. So we're gonna go the easy route and use the free Savvy Legendary Clock set which can be obtained by finishing all the episode 11 main quest. Good thing about that set is it's already trans 10 and plus 11 enhancement. So it's already durable, you don't need to spend any money. If you don't have that option anymore because you probably chose something else, you're gonna have to get a reject Ski Eclipse Varna Cloth, which is cheap at the marketplace. Problem with that is it will have no transcendence and only have a plus 7 enhancement most of the time. But don't worry about it, just get it to 5 transcendence or 8 and slowly get the enhancement to plus 10 or 11 using the event Golden Anvil and you will be fine. It doesn't really matter to be honest. Another thing about using Skia Varna Clock set is you're gonna have to get 2 times the I-Cores for it. And if you wanna learn about I-Cores, I have a link in the description, go check it out later. Now, this is the i coring part. One, which focuses on random stat icor. Now let's say you understood icors now and you're asking what stats do you need? For the random stat icor, the most important stat you need is con and spr. That's it. Don't be a perfectionist because it's gonna cost you a lot if you try to get a perfect icor. Just con an SPR and call it a day. Now this is the I-Coring part 2 which will be focused on the fixed stat I-Core. Now for the fixed stat I-Core, 
I will give two options. The first set is the Ski Eclipse Unique Cloth Armor set. Those armors you see on screen. Look at it carefully. The set with Con and SPR on it. Recheck! Because there's another Ski Eclipse Unique Cloth set and you might get the wrong one. Anyways, if you get the Con and SPR Ski Eclipse Unique Cloth Armor set, extract those and put it in your Barna set. Now, if you find those Ski Eclipse Unique Cloth Armor set expensive, the second option is the Ski Eclipse Unique Plate Armor set. Those armors you see on screen, look at it carefully. The set with Con and HP, you can put it on your Cloth Armor set, don't worry about it. And again, recheck because there's another Ski Eclipse Unique Plate set and you might get the wrong one. This Ski Plate set is super cheap and it's most likely the one you're gonna get. It's dirt cheap, don't buy it expensive because there's way too many. Anyway, just icor it and put it on your Varna or Savvy Levga Cloth Armor set. Now, if you have the free Savvy Levga Cloth Armor set from the Episode 11 quest line, just use a magnifier and get Con and SPR in the stack, like this. Again, don't be a perfectionist, just get Con and SPR. Now, you can also put a fake stat icon on this and just go back to icoring part 2 of the video and you should be good to go. At this point, you have a cloth armor with Con and SPR stat on it, right? So what's next? We're gonna go for shield and rod next. If you went the Varna route, make sure either your shield or rod is a Varna legendary item. Now for the random stat and I course, go get Con and SPR stat. Kinda like this. Again, don't be a perfectionist because it will cost you. For the fixed stat Icor, just settle with Masinius Rod and Masinius Shield. Icor those and put them on the equipment. You can use any fixed stat Icor that gives Con and SPR. Just make sure it's easy to get. Next thing that you need to do is get a legendary set effect. One of the easiest to get is Akrova, which will give you Con. SPR, healing, and more importantly, a buff that increases the damage of your teammates. So how can you get a Krova? You're gonna need Moriponia crowns like this. It's cheap on the marketplace. When you have the Moriponia crowns, go to the Alchemist in this location and select a Krova. You're gonna need about 12 pieces of Moriponia crowns. Now we have a full set of Akrova Legendary Cloth set. Next thing that you need to do is get an accessory. For now, just wear whatever you have at the moment and slowly get this Karna 60 set from the Mercenary Bad Shop or just buy it in the marketplace. It's usually cheap but it might be expensive for you if you're a new player. If you wanna know more about the Mercenary Bad Shop, there's a link in the description if you wanna learn more. Okay, next thing is get the Cleric Cloth Mastery Art called Healing. You can get it here in this NPC. Just get two pieces of Mystic Tome and some Blessed Gems and look for the Cloth Mastery Art. And you're also gonna need Attribute Points. And what else? Max out your Guardian Saint because it will boost healing. For the enchantment, just get physical damage decrease and magical damage decrease. Maybe block. For the awakening, just settle for HP and physical and magical defense. By the way guys, you can't enchant and awaken the free savvy legendary gear from the questline and it's fine. It's a free trans 10 plus 11 cloth which is more than enough for challenge mode. And I know new players will ask, but but they are saying in chat, no savvy, no savvy. Don't worry about those because no savvy comments are for DPS only and does not apply to healers. Savvy is more than enough for healing. 
My recommendations for new player classes is choose Cabalis, DM, and Druid because that's the heal spammer build for challenge mode. Watch some of the healing videos I made, it might help. And again, if you are gonna ask, is this equipment that you said good in the long run? My answer is no. The equipment that I just mentioned here will help you farm challenge mode in the early game. And when you have a lot of silver, just get the newest legendary gear and burn silver. And that's it guys, I know I'm probably forgetting something, it's just too many, just ask in the comment section down below and I will answer as soon as I see it. And that's it guys, if this helped you, hit the like button, share, and then subscribe to be part of the Gaming Hardcore family. And as always, this is Gaming Hardcore, see you in the next one.